Welcome back guys. So in this video we will do joins and relates for some of the layers we have here. So join is basically doing a join between two layers using one of the common data between them. So here we have orange city cities in polygon and we have also orange city uh, in points. And in the points layer we know that we have in the attribute data we have the population, we have the county, we have the city and we have the state. Maybe we want to join all this data to our polygon layer that doesn't have this data. So here, for example, when I open the attribute table, here I don't have the population. Here I don't have the state name. Here I don't have any of the data that exists here, even though both of them representing a city. But I represent the city with a point or with a polygon. So the join will help me using the city name because it's common between these two cities to join this data to our Orange County cities. So here in our Orange County cities, as you see here, we don't have any of the information we have in the cities DTL. So to create a join, there's several ways to create a join. You can right click and say joins and relates and add a join, or you can go to the table, make sure you select the attribute table you want to work on, and then you click on this icon right here and you go to joins and relates and you say add a join. So that's a way to add a join and that's another way to add a join. And also there is another way to add a join by going to analysis and you will find that you have the option to make join features here or also you can go to the data and select join and add a join. So there is different ways to add joins and you can also open the geoprocessing toolbar search for join you will find join. So there's different ways to do the join but it's exactly the same thing. So let's just right click on the layer and go to the join and relates, add a join. So here it asks you the input table and or which layer you want to make the join to. And this is the one that we have right here, Orange County Cities. Our objective is to take the data from the city's DTL table to Orange County Cities table. So here you, you choose Orange County Cities table. Here it asks you which field is the common one between this layer and the other one. We have here the city name and here we will choose uh, cities DTL. So we we'll go here, choose cities DTL and here we will choose the name as the common field. So now we are sure that here we have the city name and here we have the name in this field and the city's names must match. And also here you can click validate join to make sure that it will work when you click OK and here it didn't give us any error it says succeed so that means we can close it and say go ahead and do it and then now as you see after the join is done you have all the fields that exist here in this table now it exists on your Orange County cities and this is how the join works so right now I have my Orange County cities polygon the one I created and I added the area I added the average house price and the city name. Now I also have the population, I have what is the county name, I have what is the state name and some other information that coming from this layer. And this way it helped me instead of adding all this data again, I just added the data that I know that will be common between any other layer which is the city name and now I can copy any other information using the join to my Orange County cities table. So right now when you go here again and you select joins and relates, you will see that you have these options enabled because there is a join right now on this table. You can have multiple joins and you can remove one from here and here it will allow you to remove, select one to remove. So this is the join between Orange County Cities and Cities DTL. So you can remove this join at any time or you can remove all the joins if you want. So here I can say remove all the joins and say yes it will remove the join for me and my Orange County Cities table will go back to normal to where it was before. So again join is a really good tool to have in case if you want to uh, copy data from a layer to another layer and there's one common field that have the same attribute values you can use join to match the city name to the name or match an ID to ID or match a state name or match any common data to copy this data from here to the other table. So that's it for the join or the field join. There's another way to do join is a spatial join. So a spatial join will make the join based on the location of the features. So let's close this tables here and go to our map. 
And as you see here, our points that coming from uh, cities DTL already exist inside the Orange County Cities Polygon. So now I can right click here and I can create a new, totally new feature class that have the same data as we did in the join but using a spatial join. And this tool is good if you don't have common attribute between these two layers. Like let's say for example, I don't have the city name in my Orange County Cities. How can I connect the point layer to the polygon layer? We have it on the map that they intersect and we can go to join and relates and do spatial join. So let's open spatial join and see how can we do that. Here I choose that I want to use Orange County Cities to join with uh, the Cities DTL and the output feature class will be this name so it will create a new feature class for us similar to the polygon one but have more attributes that coming from cities DTL and here it will be one to one this operation means that each polygon will connect to one point if you choose one to many maybe some cases you for example have uh, streets and you have intersections so the intersection could be a point and the point is connected to four streets or two streets so that means one to two but here we have one to one because it's one city point to one city polygon but in the street and intersection case we have one intersection connected to three or four or multiple streets and that will be one to many so here we will choose one to one and this one will keep and maintain our original feature layer and here you choose the option for the relation or the spatial relation very similar to select by uh, location you have the same options you have in select by location so here I will choose contains so what this option here will do is it will create a new polygon feature class similar to Orange County City's polygon feature class have the data from here but will copy the data from cities DTL based on what point inside the polygon or the polygon contains the point so if I click OK you will see that it will take few seconds to create a new feature class and it will add it to my map right here so if I hide this one you will see that I have the same look and if I right click here and say open attribute table you will see that I have here the original data coming from Orange County Cities and here I have all the other data coming from Cities DTL so join will add the fields from a layer to another one and you can remove the join Spatial join will do it based on a spatial location and will create a new feature class for you. So this is how you can use a spatial join and that's how it looks like with you. If you go and open the attribute table for this one, nothing is changed and it looks exactly the same. Nothing is changed in this one because we didn't do a regular join and we didn't do a relate. So let's come here and remove this one. We don't need it anymore. And just to organize our map in a better way, let's take this cities and put it here and just remove this one and it changed the name of the cities to cities. So we just replaced the other one we created with this one because this one have a lot of data that we will use. So right now what we will do is the relate. So the relate is also the same thing. You right click on the layer you want to do relate to and you go to joins and relate. You click add relate. And what relate will do, it will just make a connection between the features based on a certain field. It's not going to copy any data to your table and you cannot see the data in your table right here. So let's see how it works. Here we will do the same thing. I will say I want the Orange County Cities to connect to the Cities layer, which is this one. And here you will use the city name and here you will use the name column. And this is the common one between them. And relate name is just a name for the relation. It's you are not creating a new table and you are not creating a feature class, but this is just a name for your relate. So we can call it city relate. And here also you can choose one to many or one to one. So here we'll choose one to one. Say OK. And you will see that nothing happens. But what's really different here is if I open the attribute table for this one as well and let's view our map a little bit more what will happen here every time you select features from the orange county it will show up in the cities and be selected as well and here every time you select features from the orange county cities it will automatically select 
the one into the series because there is a relation between both of them and to enable or disable this selection to happen or not you can come here and say select related records so if I disable this one and I clear selection for everything and now when I select from here nothing going to happen in the other one and nothing is selected so that's a good way to keep it enabled all the time to enable select related records so every time you have your selection here let's select for example cybers and buena park you will see that automatically the other points have been selected because there is a relationship between them and when you go here and filter by show selected records you will only see the cities that match the name of the orange county city we selected here so relate is good if you don't want to have a lot of fields and you just want to when you select a feature you select the other one uh, this could be used for example if you are uh, choosing a country you want once to select the country or the county you want to select all the cities inside these counties with it so you will create a relate between the county field name and the county layer itself so this is the difference between join and relate they are kind of different in a way that when you do join you just copy the data from one table to another based on a common field when you do relate you just have two feature classes or two layers and you make a connection between them based on one common attribute which is in our case here is the city name or the name of the city so that's it for joins and relate and same thing for the relate you can come here and go to join and relate and say remove all relates and say yes and you can remove a separate relate or separate join or you can remove all relate or you can remove all joins so one last thing to do, I want to uh, do the join again between this layer and the cities. So we can copy the population and all this stuff. And so we'll go here at join because I want to show you also in the properties how it looks like. So here we will choose the cities and here we have the name and we say OK. And we will save our layer based on this join. We will keep everything the same way it is right now and here we have our join is done so right now let's go to right click here and go to properties and you when you go to joins you will see that here now it shows you what joins you have because we have a join show it shows you so here it shows you the information for the join we have this is oc underscore cities which is the name for this layer and cities dtl this is the name for this layer and this is the join between them the type of it is one to many uh, here is the name using the city name from this one and using the name from this one and show you the source and the information for each feature class you are using and what is the connection between them so this is a good thing to have if you have uh, for example a layer that have a lot of joins you can go to the properties you can open the joins and check if your layer have joins so again this is one of the things to check when you work on new data try to open the properties for each layer check if there's a definition query check if there's joins relates or relationship classes between this layer and any other data so here you can see all the properties for it and cancel and make sure you save your project for the next videos and that's it for join and relate and spatial join now you know how you can use it and what is the cases to use it for how can you enable it how can you remove them how can you add one and also how can you check if this layer have relates joins or any kind of connection with any other layer and as usual if you have any questions please contact me and let me know we'll see you in the next video thanks